Yes, good morning. Here with Shanna Warwick. Thank you for being here. Look, Thank I feel you. like we are on our own episode of Project Friendly this morning. Thank right? you. Look at Thank this. You. I know. I love this. So <laughs> tell us what you do. So I'm a fashion designer and all-around producer of things made with fabric and other you know, yeah. things that I forage from the woods. And you have uh, your own company. I do, yeah. And my brand is Black Boots. Black Boots. So it's styles and things to wear with your favorite black boots. And I wore a black turtleneck just Good to job. match you Good today because I understood the assignment. So there <laughs> we go. You. So thank you. We're going to really get into it over the next hour. So again, we're going to get into how you came here. You just got back from LA. So I that's did. something to talk about. That's Absolutely. really impressive. So again, very excited that you're here. Stick with us. It's yeah. our mornings and corning, but we are in Elmira. All right, back here with Shannon Warwick again. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So I want to know, before we get into each individual piece, because it's crazy the, the range that you have, I want to know how you got into this in the first place. Yeah, so in college I accidentally took a fibers class okay. and started dyeing the silks. So you'll see some of the dye work in the pieces that is still things that I learned in college back That's in the day. That's all college stuff. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then from there, how'd yeah. you end up here? Yeah, then from there, so I ended up, I went back to school and found that um, I was just kind of getting a little bit bored with some of the dye work and I okay. was really trying to find some of the textures. Yeah. And then I developed, and then I found felting, which felting. is adding wool to the silk that I was already dyeing. I, I can feel that. Yes. I know yeah. I'm, I'm bad at my textures, yeah. but I can definitely feel that. <laughs> and then how did you end up here in um, the Southern Tier? Because you're from Philly originally. Yeah, yep, came up here from Philly. So I came up here for a wedding, fell in love with the area because it's, it's gorgeous here. Yeah, Yeah. I totally agree with that. Accidentally bought a house. Accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> and then As you kept, do. Kept the business yeah, going. And brought the business with me. Okay, yeah. well, good. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to get into each every individual piece because you have a meaning behind each one. I know of you course. do. I'm so excited. <laughs> so again, stick with us because through seven, we're going to have more with uh, Shannon Warwick coming up. All right, happy Friday, everyone. We're back here with Shannon Warwick. Thank you again. Thank you. I'm so excited. This is really cool. I want to start going through some of these pieces and I want to ask you how you built your brand because it's called, what is it called? Black Boots. Black Boots. And yep. the website is? blckbts.com so it's black boots with no vowels because oh. you have to be a little fancy with the spelling of things these days yes you do i know we got to be <laughs> fancy so we'll have that on our on our website too so you can people can find that um but i kind of want to am interested in first how you started the brand and what was like the first piece that you make or is there like a staple piece talk to me about that sure yeah yeah so i started mostly with doing just scarves so okay. the show us some of that let's pieces pull that some are of this in stuff out here okay now this is all you said, the felt and the yep. silk. Yep, so that's silk chiffon and felted wool. So you can definitely feel the texture, but you'll see some of um, some of the colors and the way that I've like laid the wool out. Yeah. So I'm literally laying out individual pieces of fibers onto the fabric. Okay. So if you look on the back, you kind of get where the fibers have gone through the weave of that silk. Mm, yeah, now I see that. Yeah, and you get some of that That's really cool. texture. But everything started flat for me before I learned how to pattern okay. to like more three-dimensional. Okay, neat. So you started with the scarves. That's kind of mm -hmm. where it all kind of began, and then you branched yeah. off into the dresses and everything? Yeah, then once I learned, kind of wrapped my head around how, how to pattern and how to design these pieces, then I understood how I could get things I feel like this keeps you warm, to too. Yeah, natural like fabrics, we doesn't like make that. you sweat, it's yeah. like... Fancy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we <laughs> like that. Okay, and then again, I just mentioned earlier, they just got back from LA, so I want to talk to you about that coming up, because that's pretty cool. It's we got some exciting. exciting news, I know. All right, well, we're going to get more into the dresses coming up, so stay with us, because more Shannon Warwick after this. Well, it's our own special edition of Mornings and Corning, and we're actually at Elmira, but because we have you, Shan Warwick, here and all this uh, fun stuff. And you just got back from LA. Tell me a little bit of what you did there. I did. So I travel with the Oddities Flea Circuit. Okay. So they hit different cities. And last week was LA, which was the first time I was there. So nice. very exciting. Exactly. That's so yeah. fun. Yeah. And so show us something else that you brought here. You were going to show, what is this piece here, yeah. this orange? What is this? Yeah, so just like a cute little poncho-y kind of piece. Yeah. I like when things are size inclusive. Yes. So it can fit a multitude of body types, 
Exactly. Sort of thing. And so you stock stores, Black Boots has stuff in Philly, in yep. stores in Philly, mm -hmm. and now you have another one in the works. Potentially. So everybody cross your fingers for me and your toes. Yeah. Um, potentially, I will <laughs> be in a toe. store yeah, in LA as well. Oh, good. So you're going to be by Coastal. We love yes. that. I know. Yeah. So this is really cool. Super we have dresses exciting. too. So this is the dress version? Yes. Or, or not a dress, I guess. Is that a dress? Yeah, kind or of a tunicky. So it's tunic open on the side, so it's similar to the style that I'm wearing. Okay. I like when things again you can style them a couple different ways like you can decide if you want to just do leggings under these if you nice. want to do like a more of a dress mm. but I again see, i see we'll chelsea fit. in this mm. Mm. she's gonna look yeah, in that yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> all right well again stick with us because the whole next half hour we have more with shannon work coming up and we have even some smaller pieces some home pieces that you make and it's all individually made <laughs> so there's always a meaning behind it so stay with us Talk about everything this morning, aren't we? <laughs> we I, are. Yeah, I know, and the moons and everything. So I want to talk about main center stage here, not us, but this this woman right here. Talk yes. to me about uh, these pieces. Yep, so the top is a bolero, and I like when pieces kind of move and flow with you. So this, similar to the one I'm wearing, when you're walking around, it kind of feels like you're floating through. Yes. It gives a nice silhouette, a nice shape, mm. with this nice curve across the front. Yeah, mm -hmm. little wings. Yeah, you know. love that. <laughs> and then uh, what's what's this down here? Because it's puffy. Yeah. So then the skirt. This was um, I I created this skirt for a, a store in New York. Oh. And I individually um, sculpted each of the pieces of tulle at the bottom, and then the same kind of felted fabrics in between. In there. So, so each adds volume. So each piece you don't make a, a bunch of the same thing. Each piece is pretty much. One of a kind, kind yeah, of. Pretty yeah, pretty one of a kind, limited. I'll do some of the, um, so this is the one that I'm wearing is my lunacy caftan. Okay. Ode to the moon, of okay, course. To, okay, Ode to the moon. <laughs> so I'll do, this is kind of one of my signature pieces, and I'll do, you know, a limited run of, of, of this particular style. Yeah. Of that style. And mm -hmm. then uh, you people come to you and say what they want, and you create that, or how do you gain your inspiration? Exactly. A couple years ago, I had the opportunity to create a skirt like this for a local, but all in white, with Ooh. white feathers, if you can imagine. Oh. It was like beyond. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Okay, cool. So I want to talk <laughs> to you about where you gain your inspiration uh, coming up next. So That's again, good. we still have so much more to cover. Stay with us. We have more <laughs> with Shannon Warwick coming up. Happy Friday back here with Shanna Warwick. I'm so Hello. excited. We're, this is so fun today. So my next question for you is going to be how you gain your inspiration uh, for some of these pieces. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, sometimes it's like the pieces that are missing from my wardrobe. Okay. Like the the one that you have on. It's I, a collar. I forgot to mention, yes, here I am <laughs> just up here with this collar on <laughs> and asking you questions. But yes, I do have a nice, a beautiful collar on. So. Um, another way you were saying was that what's on trend right now. Yeah. So yeah. tell me about this. So there's been a lot of, um, yeah, color, colors have been kind of everywhere. Some like smaller ones that have like little bows and things. So these are my take on a collar. Okay. So this can be worn kind of tighter up around the neck. It can be worn with a bigger piece in the back and the front. Oh, nice. Um, and it's kind of like an easy piece when you just have like a little black t-shirt on. You can throw something on over top of it and, and feel just, a little more dressed. And just add something else. I don't know if y'all can see that. <laughs> there you go. Boom. So these collars, uh, that's what's on trend right now with, the, with fashion and... Um, and again, what's missing from your closet? Yeah, what's missing from my closet, and these are created the same way. So the same fabric up here, but the design in the bottom is just wool on wool. So it's like similar to like a felted mm -hmm. or boiled wool coat, just laid out a little bit differently. Perfect, well cool, well that's awesome. That's something new that I have not seen. So there you go, always setting, <laughs> setting trends there. And um, you also do some interesting things with the dyes, which we're gonna talk about coming up. So again, you won't wanna miss that. Well, no, well that was just a, <laughs> Oh, that was my that was my uh, hanger. So yep, we're good. That's we're how good. the dice. So that's we have more coming up in just a bit. Yes, back here. Thank you, Nick. I, I want to talk about the die that you have because there's something special about this die, and you were showing me something else um, that was this dyed. Too. Oh, wait, let's bring that yeah. out. Let's show them sure. what that is. So tell me what these are dyed with, because you would never be able to guess. Yeah. So during COVID, yeah. a lot of time at home. So I started playing with um, things that were all around me, plants. Okay. And this particular piece is dyed with goldenrod, That's which is kind of crazy that you get that much dye. So vibrant. 
Yeah. So vibrant. This one I just had on, so that yeah. was crazy. Goldenrod. And what about this one? Do you have any guesses? I, I, I don't. You tell me. <laughs> what is this one? Yeah. So this. I don't, <laughs> I don't, is it a plant? It is from a plant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is actually died from avocado pits. That's insane. Yeah, which is crazy. Um, so avocado pits in... Oh, yeah, they had dye in them. Yeah, yeah. If you dye in an iron cauldron, the iron is what um, allows the fabric to accept the dye. So you oh. get this dark, dark purple color. If That's I dyed, what this is? Yeah, so some, and then the same wool is throughout the piece. Perfect. Well, cool. Yeah. That's amazing. That's incredible, too. Yeah. So again, uh, Shanna's going to be actually around here uh, coming up this weekend. So we have that coming up next. We'll let you know where. <laughs> Stay with us. Well, Shanna, tell everyone where you're going to be this weekend, where they can find all this good stuff. I know. I will be at Taxylvania. I'll be outside in their vending area on okay. Saturday night. And then because you do some of those vending areas and farmer's markets, you do smaller pieces as well. So tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, so I started making some smaller pieces using the same fabrics. This is one of my little moons. Yeah, a little broomstick over here. <laughs> yeah, a little frame broomstick. Yeah, these it's are funny. so cute. I get to forage in the woods, like I get to play with sticks, literally, yeah. to make the pieces. And sometimes we just see cute things in our life. Yes, exactly. I totally yes. agree with that. So that's, <laughs> and then also you can find any of this stuff on your website, yes. which is blackboots.com. But mm -hmm. spell it the way you spell it. I spell it B-L-C-K-B-T-S, black okay. boots, no vowels. No vowels. <laughs> I know, these are so cute. And then we also have a little... A little jar down here. What is this? It's a cute little pumpkin in a oh. jar, mm -hmm. and that's done but with um, needle felting, which is like a lot of stabby, stabby, stabby. And then all natural stuff. Yeah, that's all awesome. the natural. Yeah, I'll use some little cool. roses on there. Yeah, cute Amazing. little things. All right, well, thank you again. We're going to say bye to Shanna uh, coming up next, and your daily pledge is also next, so stay with us. Well, before we go, I wanted to highlight the fact that you don't just work with the darker colors, you also do the lighter stuff too for us with the blue eyes that want to bring that out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really cool. And this is all you, your dyeing, you said, from what you learned in college, right? Yeah, these are all hand dyed. So this is an ice dye technique. But I love doing the white on white pieces as well. Yeah. I've done a lot of bridal and just, yeah. you know, for spring, oh, that sort that's, of thing. Yeah, springtime, <laughs> that's coming up. So in a couple months. But for now, again, it's Halloween weekend. Let's enjoy some of the darker stuff too, right? Yeah, and the, sure. the moons. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having and, me. And um, if you want to learn more, again, go to our website, mytwintears.com. Learn more about Shannon. Also, you can go to your Instagram, which I'll have linked in our article there, where you can see how she makes all this stuff too. Yeah, lots of videos. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> thank and you for having me. Happy Halloween, everyone. Have a good weekend.